It's Frank Bambini, Fun Loving Criminals. I'm here to talk about my gear today, my beautiful Cherry Sparkle Premier drum kit. On tour, it's unusual for me to be playing a 22. I'm playing a 22 here, Maple and Birch mix. This is my company that I've been with for a long time now. They're actually from my hometown. Very famous drums, Premier drums, massive. If you go back and watch anything to do with your Live Aid concerts back in the 80s, nearly every drummer you'd see be rocking a Premier kit. The fantastic drums. Normally I play an Elite kit. This is a modern classic, um, Cherry Sparkle. Beautiful drum kit, but normally I, I favor a 20 inch kick drum. Um, I like how I can get a 20 inch to actually sound more subby than some people get a 22 and a 24. So this is unusual, but it's all they've got in the States for me at the moment. So I'm going with a 22. I normally drop on there like a Remo Power Stroke on the, uh, on the kick drum with a flam patch as well. Moving on, like I say, normally I rock a 20, 10, 12, 14. But with this particular setup, going slightly bigger in the shell pack, so this is a 12, uh, dropping onto a 14, dropping onto a 16. Um, again, all Premier shells, modern classic. Uh, fantastic drums. On the heads, I rock the Emperor Coated, which sometimes I like to switch, depending if I'm playing a lot of festivals in the summer, I sometimes drop a clear Emperor on there as well. Um, sometimes power stroke, sometimes not. But yeah, this is nice. You get a really good tone from these when you're rocking the clears. Um, then we're moving over to a standard wood, four and a half inch deep, 14 inch modern classic. Uh, nice wooden drums, nice and warm. You get a nice cross stick as well. Um, yeah, lovely kit. I really like the sparkle finish. I love all my drums to sparkle because I believe drums are meant to look like Elvis Presley's jewelry, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much the shell pack. Um, standard sizes as well in depth for the toms. Um, nothing spectacular on, on, on the sizes. My kit that's over in the UK and in Europe is custom made. It's beautiful, golden popcorn sparkle as well with a slightly thick crusher glass finish. And they're all custom sizes, which you can see if you go on the um, Premier or Paste websites, you can actually see what I play as an endorsee. Then that moves me over to the cymbals. I've been playing Pace signature cymbals now for two decades, 20 years I've been endorsed by Pace. They are the best cymbal you can buy. If I was to sum it up in cars, um, this will get me no favours, but maybe a Zildjian would be a Jaguar, and a Sabian would be a, I don't know, a uh, Chevy. These are the motherfucking Porsche of symbols, all right? These are the Ferrari of symbols. They're absolutely beautiful. Pace signature, I play an 18 and I play an 18 normally. They're exactly the same symbol. Now, some people say, why do you play exactly the same symbol? I only like the sound of an 18 inch crash. So every time I hit a crash, whether it be on the left, whether it be on the right, you're getting the same tone, you're getting the same sound. And, and then I've always played a dry ride paste 20 inch ride, which is a beautiful symbol. Very, the bell's great on it. And then I can fizzle it out when I'm rocking. And I even belt it sometimes in big, in big songs as well. So, fantastic. And then I move over to my dark, crisp paste signature as well. I only play 13s. The unusual thing about Frank, Fun of and Criminals, is I like, you know, we are a kind of like a bastardized hip hop, blues, funk, rock band. So I like my hi-hats to be crispy like Tribe Called Quest de la Soul. So what I do to get that is I flip them. So I play my bottom on my top and my top on my bottom. Um, that's pretty much my cymbal range. Over here I've got some LP double line chimes that are beautiful. Always play them, great for like beginnings of songs. We play a mixture of some old funk soul, Barry White S stuff. So Fantastic for endings as well. Um, as far as footwear, I normally rock a DW5000. I'm rocking the 9000 on this run. DW, kick drum pedals, what can I say? They're absolutely fantastic. So um, they don't need any endorsement off me because they're just fantastic. And I've got an Iron Cobra, which is awesome. An Iron Cobra, the legendary Iron Cobra, high hat stand here. 
Every symbol stand you'll see on this kit is double brace. I have to have double brace because sometimes I really lay into the kit. Um, so single brace just don't work for Frank. So I'll probably knock the shit over. Um, again, I have uh, three boom stands. I have the boom stand there, which I think these are all Tama um, stands. Great stands, great hardware. Three booms. So two to hold my crash, one to hold my ride. This is a boom stand as well, but I don't take the boom out. I just have a right angle come in for my chimes. And then I do have two snare stands, both double braced. I have one to obviously hold the snare up. I have one here to hold my trusted old friend that I've had for over 20 years. I think that's my third generation one because over the years I've either smashed them up or wrapped them around the lead singer's head. It doesn't, you know, one or the other. Um, so this is actually quite new, this one. But it's, yeah, it's your standard Mackie. Um, it's the 1202 VLZ4, great mixer, very durable. It's been all over the world and you can bash it around and it just always seems to work. And what I do here is I mix my own show. So I have the click coming in from my backing tracks and I have the tracks itself. So they're split, they come from me direct from our system over there. And then every night on the house, they have to send me the three vocal mics, obviously fast lead singer, me lead backing singer, and guitar, uh, the mic that's on the guitar up there. So that's what I use. These are redundant, they're just spares. Um, and I've got a, a boom right hand coming in. Normally I have an SM58, so my man got it spot on tonight on the mic there. And a little table at the side to hold my drinks, which is very important. Any good drum tech know that the most important thing for a drum tech is to mix the drummer's drink spot on. I have some timpani six for some intros. I play my drumsticks that I favor and I have done for a long time is the, Ameri is the American company, which is just fantastic. Primark sticks um, made by Didario. And you can see there you've got my signature sticks there, Fun Loving Criminals on the switch knife blade <laughs> um, and the signature. They're a fantastic stick. They're about the similar weight to a Simon Phillips stick and length as well with a bobble nip. I call it a bobble nip. It's not the more kind of peanut goes into a point. This is more rounded and I like that because I often find it bounces off even the toms. It's always going to bounce off the snare. But then I can get a lovely kind of, I can play it here. But if I want to sharpen that up, just go to that. That's why I always like the round tip. These were pretty much modeled off the Simon Phillips signature six. So Simon Phillips, respect. I got my in-ears, um, which I think these are eight way, no, 16 drivers in these bad boys. Um, and I'm rocking Cosmic Ears, which are made in Manchester in the UK, in, uh, in England. And finally, the drum throne. I always have a back plate, mainly because the back can get sore when you're on tour for a long time, but the real reason is you'll see that my headphone comes up at the back and is right there. So I can move around a little bit, even though my ears are in. Um, and that's really pretty much the, the Frank setup. I, I always have a backup snare, a backup kick pedal, a backup set of ears uh, on the side every night as well. So that's Frank Bambini, Fun Loving Criminals. Thank you so much for checking out my gear. If you want to check anything out to do with the band, the best place really is Instagram. We're pretty hot on the Instagram. That's Fun Loving Crims. Uh, or you can go on the website, funlovingcriminals.co. Uh, and, and then go and check out all my wonderful gear. Paste are just amazing. Paste symbols you'll find on Instagram. You'll find uh, Promark Didario, by, by Didario on Instagram as well. Just put Promark sticks in. And then, of course, the beautiful drums that are premierdrums.com. Go and check them out also on Instagram. We've just hit our 100 year anniversary. So centenary for Premier Drums, which is amazing. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my setup. Also, go and check out Frank, Uncle Frank. Dot com, Uncle Frank Band as well. You can see all the fun we get up to with that as well. But yeah, big love. <laughs>